Hello, brothers and sisters. Happy Earth Day. I'd like to share with you this message that God told me to go forth and tell everyone. Last night, I fell asleep rather quickly, and I woke up praying. My body lifted up off of the ground, and I prayed harder, and my body started to float above my family members. I started to say, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves everyone. Then I flew through a door into the clouds, and Jesus had me merge with his body. Now we flew over every single city on earth. We encompassed the entire earth. Then we went to the Burj Khalifa, the tallest skyscraper on earth. And when we got there, we flew into the top of the building and there was this room and there was this man in a business suit and he was stark raving mad at us. Now, we flew through a couple more doors and we picked up this man, but he was, he was small, we could just hold him in our hand. And this businessman comes running out and he starts shooting at us. And the bullets graze our shoulder and it makes like a claw mark. But there was absolutely no damage to the skin. So we go to the top of the building and we look up and we fly straight up through the clouds faster than speed, faster than light, faster than time, faster than sound. We saw the galaxies and the solar system just whiz by like mist. Then we got to a platform and there was this priest standing there. This platform was round and in the center there was a massive bolt of white plasma lightning and then a small stand right next to it with a, a cloud with the sun. Now, the priest told us that this was a test. Jesus separated from me at that moment and I was brought to the platform. I stood on the platform and the lightning plasma bolt disappeared and a ray of light came right down on the small platform on which I was standing. I closed my eyes and I prayed for one second, that's all it took. And I just took the, the step of faith immediately. And the priest started saying, He's the one. He is the chosen one. And so the priest pulled a lever or a button or, and the lightning bolt came down and Jesus and I merged again and we were immediately brought to God's bedroom. God presented himself as a child playing underneath a table. And upon the table was an immaculate white plate with a severed right hand sitting upon it. It was almost as if it were a, a ambiance, a, um, a thing for God to look at, you know, like um, you have something upon your mantle. Now, we were looking down and we were a size of rice compared to God. We were looking down and our hands were just hanging down and they were bleeding like rain upon everything, even upon God, and it pleased God. Jesus' blood pleased God. Now, I thought well, we're bleeding all over. Shouldn't we do something? And God said, 
over there on the table. Now Jesus and I, we hovered over to the table and there was a, a wine glass. And the wine glass was filled halfway with blood. In our right hand was a thimble. It looked like a chess piece with a cross on the top and a pile of rubble on the bottom. It was a thimble. Forefinger on the cross and thumb on the thimble. We took the thimble off the thumb and blood poured down to the cup. I was told it was the church, the unbelieving church. Their blood was going to fill the cup of wrath. Then God said, blood is blood. And Jesus put down his arms and blood rushed forth from our body and it felt like a nosebleed but without having that feeling of losing blood the blood was unlimited and the cup filled to the brim and I was told to go and tell this message now the cup of wrath is about to come upon the earth and that is the message that God told me to tell everyone today. Amen.